Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Mr. Amez, and welcome back to another video. Today, this video is about what every rebirth says about you in War Tycoon. So let's get into it. Starting off, we got the rebirth zeros. So if you're rebirth zero, you probably just started off, or it might be the fact that you just don't want to rebirth. But you should probably rebirth fast because you guys are a prime target for bullying. Like every other lobby, I think I see at least one zero rebirth player getting bullied. Now next we got the one to two rebirths. And if you have one to two rebirths, you're probably just a casual player who likes to play the game every now and then. You start rebirthing because you want to unlock the new stuff and to not get bullied anymore. The next rebirth we got is the three to four. Now if you have the three to four rebirths, you're probably just starting to get into the game seriously. At this point, you might start looking towards the Discord to find a faction to join. Next up, we got five to six rebirths. If you have five to six rebirths, you're probably starting to like the game a lot. Many people with five to six rebirths will start watching the YouTubers too. And at this point, you're getting really serious into the game, almost playing every day as well. Next up, we got seven to eight rebirths. If you have seven to eight rebirths, you just finish unlocking everything in the game. And if you go past seven rebirths, really the only reason is to get the DeLorean. So next up, we got nine to 10. You probably play this game at least two hours a day. Now, if you already unlocked or you're this close to unlocking the DeLorean, there's really no point in rebirthing past this point unless you move on to the next stage. So if you have 11 to 20 rebirths, you want to get past the 10 rebirths mark. You want to stand out a little in the lobbies. You don't want to rebirth too much, but you just want to have your name stand out a bit more than the rebirth 10s. At this point, you're probably near unlocking almost everything. And by that, I mean all the operations. Next up, we got the 21 to 40 rebirths. Now, if you're rebirth 21 to 40, you might need to turn off the game a little bit. Because I think this is the point where people start going from a passion of the game to full on degen. I think most people here literally just keep rebirthing only for the badge. If you have 41 to 100 rebirths, I don't even know why you do this anymore. Like, I think most of these people just log on, grind for rebirths, and then just get off. And most of them never leave their base to shoot other people. Most of these guys probably own every game pass in the game by now. Now, if you're over 100 rebirths, you got some issues. At this point, I don't know if you're just doing it for a passion or you're trying to go for a world record. But good luck with that, because the guy with the most rebirths has well over a thousand. And considering this will take you over a month of just straight rebirthing, I don't think you're going to be hitting this goal anytime soon. And yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe as I'm trying to get 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.